In this lesson, we will be covering how to create a linear pattern using the rectangular pattern tool. First of all, the file that I have open is linearpattern.ipt, and this can be found in your chapter four exercise folder. I already have a feature that I want to pattern along this path. In this example, you'll see that the path is basically a flat segment of lines and arcs. So I'm just going to zoom up tight here. Always get close when working on this small set of geometry. And then from the part features, we'll scroll down and I'm going to select on rectangular pattern. And then for the features, I'm going to select both the boss and the hole. You'll notice that they both select in the browser. Again, you can select the features in the browser as well as the graphics window entirely up to you. And then for direction one, I'm going to select the path. Now let's start to bring it back here a little bit so we can see what's going to happen. So let's place in 20 of these and let's do a spacing of 30. And you can see what's happening immediately here is that the boss is actually falling off the part. And the reason it's doing that because the start location is back here, whereas the hole is up 20 millimeters. So from the dialog box, under direction one, there's a start option. I'm gonna go back and click on that. And I'm gonna click the point right in the center of that hole. And by doing that, you can see that it brings those pattern occurrences directly online with the path. So there's a couple things I can do now. I could continue to adjust how many I want, adjust the spacing. But in this case, what I really like to do is I like to have, let's say 30 of these occurrences set within this path distance here. So let's take a look at some of our other options. So we have spacing again, so I have 30 millimeters in between them. In this case, I have 30 of them and let's see what it looks like if I change that to 400 millimeters or let's say 800. So now it's filling that up. Well, that gets me a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. And I'm going to try our last option here, which is curve length. So in this case, you'll see that it grayed out the distance, but it also entered that data in there for me. So 1,415.619 millimeters is the entire length of that path. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to change that back to the spacing option. And I'm going to scroll on over, arrow over. Then I'm going to say minus 20. And the option that I really wanted to do is the distance. Sorry about that. So now I have 30 of them set within that distance. So then I did the minus 20 millimeters to get my 20 millimeters that I had on the left hand side and now it'll also be on the right hand side. So that's how you do a linear pattern. So let's go ahead and click OK. Now the path does not have to be a 2D path. I'm going to close this file and the file that I have open here is 3dpattern.ipt and it also is in the chapter four exercise folder. And what I wanna do in this case, is I wanna pattern that hole along this coil. So we're gonna use the same tool to do this. I'm gonna click on rectangular pattern. Again, the feature to pattern is gonna be the hole. The direction, I'm gonna select on the coil. Let's back off here a little bit. And let's say I want to have 20 of them. You can see that I have a little bit of an issue here in this case, that the path again is going off the direction there. So let's expand the dialog box. And under this orientation option, I'm going to click on direction one. And what that's going to do, it's going to bring that feature right back onto the direction one, or in this case, our coil. So now I could simply go back and say I want to have 30 millimeters in between, if that's the case. 
Let's change our distance back down to 18. Go ahead and click OK. Spin our geometry around. And that's how we can create our 3D path feature going around the pattern. Again, just like the rectangular pattern or circular pattern that we've learned about before, all of these features are appearing in the browser as an occurrence. So you can always come back in, right click, click on suppress, and it will suppress that hole from the tree. And we can always bring it right back, right click, and uncheck suppress.